Hi, hello. Welcome to Karavati. My name is Roshan. Today, we are going to discuss about the 10th house. 10th house. It's all about a name and say how much name you get, how much fame you get. 10th house will decide. So 10th house is all about uh, administration and management. How, much, how the best administration, how best management you will do. That much name and fame you will get. So the keywords here are administration, management, managing, direction, commanding, control, charge, okay. operation, conducting, regulation, handling, leadership, government, governing body, supervision, supervising, overseeing, oversight, guidance, care. So, this is all about, uh, we will see all these words in our career. So, indirectly, they connected with career. Because in a career only, we will do administration and management. So, 10th house is all about name and fame. And how you will administrate, how you will manage the things. That will be decided by 10th house. In this 10th house... You will face so many insults. You will face so many insults, so many careless, reckless behaviors when you do the management, when you do administration. So how you will overcome these things? How you will do a teamwork? That will be decided by 10th house. How much you do, that much name and fame you will get. 10th house is a powerful house because here, you want to control other things with a greater patience, greater teamwork to achieve the goal. Hence, according to Parashara, 10th house is the strongest house. There are so many Karakas of it, significators, Sun, Mercury, Sun, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter. There's a wide variety of significators. So here, society will come and test you. Okay. So here, you need to take a brave decisions in order to achieve the goals. I will tell you a story. One grandfather with his grandchildren. He is walking with along with a donkey. Along with a donkey. And uh, he made to sit that child on the donkey. And he was moving to a town. After going to some distance. So some people came and scolded that ch children. Okay. He is very much older, your grandfather. Okay. Why are you making him to walk? And then uh, they both discussed and they realized uh, this is not appropriate. So I need to sit on the donkey. So grandfather sat on the donkey and that child was walking along. After going to some distance, again some people saw this and scolded the grandfather. You have much age. You have good strength. You can walk a longer distance than this child. Why are you making the child? Why are you suffering the child? So they both discussed and uh, they thought uh, this is not appropriate. So, the donkey, the grandfather, and the child, both are walking parallel. Three are walking. Now, three are walking. After going to some distance, people saw and said, You fools, donkey, 
born for labor. <laughs> that uh, animal will do labor. You are not able to utilize properly the asset. You fools, like that, uh, they scolded. They both got confused. When I am on the donkey, scolded. People came and scolded. When my grandchildren sat on the donkey, they scolded. Even though we are walking along, they are scolding. Now what we want to do? So they both, they both sat on the donkey. The child and grandfather both sat on the donkey. After going to some distance, some people came. Hey, you are merciless fellows. That is an animal that is having life. Why are we making donkey to suffer? You both can walk, right? Why are you doing like this? They both discussed. Finally, they thrown the donkey into the river. <laughs> 10,000 is like this. Okay. Whatever you do, people will raise the fingers. Whatever you do. Okay. Don't bother about other people. So, do to the what extent you can do, what creativity, what work you will handle. Trust your insights. Okay. Don't uh, believe in others. Well, I am... Uh, during the video, so many people will criticize in the comments, uh, comment section. So I don't want to emotionally attach because I, I made like this. I have this capacity. So with my capacity, I can deliver. Whether it is some, some people, it, is, it will be more, some people, it will be less. But I can't do nothing. Because I got this, so I want to deliver this. I can't change. So this is how the 10th house will behave. So here, the planets, how they behave. These planets, how they behave. When sun is there in the 10th house, sun automatically will show the authority, bossism. So that is the best uh, energy suits in the 10th house. Because we need to show authority and bossism. We should not care about other things, the other people like that. So we need to force, put the force and make them to us. That is the king, authority, bossism. Then these people will become a manager, CEOs, top level management. So those, okay, the kingship. When Mars comes into the 10th house, Mars shows a passion, strength, vigor, authority, domination. Okay. He, the determination, not authority, it's a determination. It's a kind of a passion. So when Mars comes into the 10th house, he will also not listen to us. <laughs> he will do his work. With the passion and with the dedication, with the energy, we will force the 10th house to move. Okay? These people also will achieve a greater heights. They will achieve movement because they won't consider other people. Because Mars is all, even Sun will listen to others, but Mars will not listen to others. He will show the kind of a Determination, passion, you won't listen to others. So that's that kind of energy will match this 10th house because we, we should not listen to others. So we need to go with our mindset to deal the 10th house. We need to learn. Failures will come, but we need to learn. So here Mars is the perfect energy matches the 10th the house. When it comes to Venus, Venus in the 10th house, Venus is all about compromising attitude. Venus shows uh, the happiness. In the 10th house, you will not get any happiness. 
happening there. It's not like a sweet. It is very hot. Because Venus is sweet, but uh, 10th house is very hot. So that energy will not match here. Because you, you should not compromise. So you should not listen to others. Here, Venus in the 10th house. So they cannot administrate or manage Venus in the 10th house. So these people always uh, will try to compromise. So they, their careers must be in the, that kind of a compromising the things. Or else uh, they will suffer. Because 10th house is all about uh, raising fingers. Uh, all people will raise the fingers on you, within you. So uh, Venus is having that kind of a smooth heart. Yeah, they will suffer a lot. Because everything will go, everything. People will always tell you, it's wrong, it's wrong. So we need to face that. It is. So Venus will take into this uh, very smoothly. But uh, we need a rough kind of a attitude. Here. So internally, they may go into a kind of a film industry is, um, because uh, Venus is in the 10th house. So it's all about uh, singing, dancing, those kind of a fields. So it's a music, artistic. So in those fields, uh, uh, the Venus energy will match. But uh, when it comes to the teamwork, okay, Venus energy will not be able to set here. Will not able to control the tenth house. So tenth house will control the beach. That's the part. So here, the tenth house is a very strongest house. In order to control, all, we have that kind of a rude energy. Now see, you'll see uh, Mercury. Mercury is all about a communication and show, showcasing intelligence. Mercury is very intelligent. So, in this 10th uh, house, he will do a lot of communication, a lot of information he will gather. With that, uh, he will showcase intelligence. He is also a perfect game to deal the 10th house because the communication is very, very much important. So, communication gathering the information and showcasing the intelligence based on the receiving data. So, most appreciable planet in the 10th house. So, you can manage, you can uh, deliver the things. But uh, here, uh, the commanding is much needed. So, commanding. So, with his intelligence, he will deal, but he will not able to command. Mercury is capable of uh, doing business, he will do. So, in, if Mercury is in the 10th house, uh, he will make so many deals. If you do this work, I will do for you this, this kind of ad. If you do this, I will do this. So, with these deals, uh, he will do a lot of communication will happen. So, he will become a business, a business kind of ad, even though he is working. He will showcase that kind of a business section. When it comes to moon in the 10th house, the most suffering. Okay. Moon is, moon want to do everything emotionally. You can showcase love, emotions, those kind of attitude. The 10th house is all about uh, name and fame. So here, the person will deal with Emotionally to get an end of you. Here it won't work. Because people will betray you. People will not show any emotions in the society. If you show emotions, people will not show any emotions. So they are very, when it comes to uh, this 10th house, they are very rude. They will raise the fingers. So emotionally, this person will suffer. Why? I'm showing uh, too much love. Why people are not able to receive? Why these people are betraying me? Like this, uh, he will suffer. Moon is the worst kind of a place. The 10th house is like a machine. Yeah. It 
will cheap you like that. It's a gigantic machine. So how sugar can juice will extract from a machine? Like that, you are the sugar king. <laughs> Ten thousand will extract the thing. So here we need a, a, a commanding nature, authoritative nature, rudeness. So moon uh, with the emotions and love. So these people will do a lot of things in a medical field. Because medical is all about showcasing love, emotions, service, nurturing. It's a kind of a motherly love. So, so nursing, medical, doctors. But when it comes to the administration, the 10th house is all about administration. When it comes to administration, you, you cannot deal with emotion. This is not an appropriate, appropriate energy to deal with the 10th house. When it comes to Jupiter, Jupiter is all about higher knowledge. So, this person not able to speak. He will observe the things and he will, he will do the kind of a work with the knowledge what he can. So, this is also, so he will learn from the elders. He will learn from the his top positions, managers, okay, who are on the top, bosses. So he will replicate the same thing. He will observe and deliver. He will observe and deliver. But here weakness is Jupiter having a belief, you know, optimistic optimism. He will believe the things. Here in 10th house, you should not believe. So if you believe someone, that is a trash. You will go into a underground. So here, it's all about uh, climbing ladders. It's all about uh, a kind of a race. So you should not trust others. You need to trust yourself. But uh, here, Jupiter will trust others. He always wants to give the knowledge that these people may go into a teaching field, a college, you know, online tutors, schools. So they want to deliver that knowledge what they have. So they, they always want to speak and uh, they, they want to give that kind of education to others, whatever the field they are. When it is a software, it is MBA. So they, they want to give that knowledge. They will acquire from their bosses and they will deliver. But here the trust, the testing will happen. Now comes to the Saturn. Saturn is about all about hard work, patience. So here, whatever the people are raising the fingers, you are doing like this, you are doing that, Saturn will remain patience. He will showcase the patience. He will observe, he will wait for this time. So until that, Saturn will stay calm and he will observe the things. When the time comes, he will jump on that and he will deal with those things. So they are better workers, they are better administrators because the administrator needs to have that patience. You should not excite at any moment. You should not excite. You need to wait for your time. You need to play that politics. So Saturn energy is also very good in the 10th house. He is the best person to deal the 10th house. So these people will, will, will do hard work, the labor work. So they will listen to others. They will remain for their time. They will wait for their time. And they deliver the things. They wait, wait, wait. When the time comes, deliver. This is the motto of Saturn. So here, these people, even though people criticize, even though shouts, Saturn will, the determination of Saturn will not go off. They simply play, pay the attention with a smile. They will, they will take the kids. They will not return. They will wait for that. The best politician 
is dealing the 10th house. Right? So this is the wonderful. But these people will go into uh, whatever the field they are, they will do it hard. Because Saturn will give that kind of a power to do hard work. The sweat, sweat need to come. Okay? The muscles need but cramps, the body pains, the kind of energy Saturn will give it to you. So, these people will take insults, they will deal the carelessness, recklessness, they will take the wounds into them, and they deliver that hard work, they will do that kind of a labor. This is also a very good question for Saturn in the 10th house. When it comes to Rahu, Rahu is all about uh, experimenting. It's all about experiments. And uh, they have trust. Because Rahu will give you the trust to get a name and fame. But they have only half information. Half of the half piece of paper is there. Another half is missing. So they will match with hundreds of, hundreds of papers they will get and they will match with that. So, it's a kind of endless thrust. They will do a lot of experiments, experiments, experiments. Experiments will fail and they want to learn. Experimenting and learning. Experimenting and learning. Okay. So, whatever the field they are, they will do a lot of experiments. But experiments uh, will fail and uh, they want to learn the lesson. Like a scientist, they will do. Like how a scientist will do. Scientists will always experiment, experiment. So to invent a bulb, a scientist did a 3,000 experiment. At last, they want, they will find a new way of dealing the administration and management. Once they found that new way, it's a, that 10th uh, house, Rahu will squeeze the temple. And they get that name and say, so we will see. We saw so many people like Mahendra Singh Dhoni, Virat Kohli. They got a, uh, that captainship of a lot of experiments they did. They got a captainship and uh, that entire Rahman Dasha, they got a glory. After the end of the Rahman Dasha, again, they came out from that glory. So kind of a Rahu is the powerful planet, but the initial phase, uh, it will be a lot of experiments and failures. After learning from the failures, the person will get on to get that name and fame and, uh, and it, it, it makes you to reach a peak level. Now comes to Ketu. Ketu means it's already achieved. Now disinterest. If you already achieved, you will show that kind of a distance right? when you went into the deep, deep levels of uh, name and fame. Now, you don't record that name. It's already taken it in the previous life. Now, this person have that kind of administration and uh, management skills, but he will show that uh, disinterest. The Ketu is the planet in the 10th house. It's a very powerful planet. Very powerful planet. This, uh, they already experienced. They are well mastered how to get name and fame, how to do administration and management. Uh, now they will show the disinterest in those things. So they don't want that name and fame. So they want to leave it. And they want to concentrate on their home because in the past life they did not concentrate on their home because of this name and fame. So here they will show kind of a disinterest and they want to come into the first. So they, they are homesick persons and uh, they show the disinterest. They don't have that kind of a focus, but they are skillful and masters, but they don't find a focus. So here they will they will try to uh, go into lot of areas, 
like they will become a software engineer they will become a astrologer they will become a kind of a doctor so a lot of careers they will achieve because ketu will split because the focus ketu will not give that focus he will take away because you are already achieved in the past life so it's kind of a split splitting of tenses cutting ketu will cut the tenses so one time you will become an astrologer one time you will say software engineer one time you will say agriculture farmer a lot, lot of interests will be. but you are already achieved right when wherever you go at certain point he will stop you here what you need to do. so you you will not become a king you need to become a king maker you want to give that name and fame to others that is the path you want to do in this life so these are the planets in the houses 10th house now for different lagnos how this are 10th house planets how this are 10th house here the team were is very much necessary and you should not uh, you know leave the team work i will tell you one story there is a the pond the pond uh, tortoise the turtle is there and uh, turtle having uh, two friends those are cranes the birds crane so one day in the short summer the pond uh, became empty dried up then the turtle asked the friends cranes so i have an idea if you cooperate we'll fly and go to another pond i know another pond okay so i will give you a stick you hold that stick at the ends i will grab that stick in the middle so you can lift me and uh, we'll go to another pond i will showcase the another pond so they lifted the the stotties with the total stick uh, and they are flying away so all people are clapping because of this creativity wonderful creativity wonderful idea intelligent thing they saw so they are clapping now here this is the teamwork right a lot of teamwork now an elephant saw this and asked wow oh, what a creativity what an idea who did this whose idea is this like that elephant asked cranes remained calm because they know but tata is open the mouth this is my creativity my idea then the tata is left that wooden stick and fall at the ground okay yeah. so here teamwork is very important so you need to give that uh, credit to your teamworks who are working with you okay. you should not say i am you should say we we did okay. let's your action speak not with your mouth you should not say utter anything with your mouth uh, in the 10th house only actions need to speak in the 10th house now we'll see for the different lagnas we'll take aries aries for aries lagna aries ascendant the 10th house is capricorn 10th house is capricorn so you are the capricorn is ruled by saturn you need to have that patience you need to work hard you need to have that patience patience will deliver you the results everything you need to deal you will get at that kind of a challenging situation you need to face it with a patience you need to leave your because there is our kind of a speed agility they have 
to take a false tradition. But uh, you need to leave that. In order to get a name and fame, you need to work hard. You need to face a challenging situation. You need to remain calm and deliver. Then only you will get a name. When it comes to Taurus, Taurus 10th house is Aquarius. Aquarius is all about uh, you need to maintain network. People of network. You need to have that a uh, wide range of network. How much network you build, uh, that much name and fame you will get. So it's uh, all about a network. How much network you want to build, that much name and fame you will get. So Taurus ascendants need to maintain the network that the friend circles, chains, groups, WhatsApp group, Facebook group. How much network you have, that much kind of a name and fame you will get. When it comes to Germany ascendant, for Germany ascendant, it's all about a Pisces. Pisces is all about imaginative, creative. So you need to be very imaginative and creative. And uh, you need to be very artistic. Then only you'll get a name and fame. Okay. So a person written uh, a book called Harry Potter. So it's a, it's a wide imagination. Yeah. So it is beyond practicality and reality. So how much success she got. So it's a kind of a name and fame when you showcase that creativity, imaginative, beyond practicality and reality. When it comes to cancer ascendant, cancer ascendant, 10,000 is Aries. You need to showcase kind of a heroism, speed, agility, because Aries is all about showcasing the heroism and uh, they want to, they are stopless, endless. They are running, running, go get it kind of attitude. Go get it and uh, attitude. So uh, you need to be like that. You should not listen to others. You need to go with your own strategy. You need to showcase that kind of heroism. Then only you will get a name and fame. When it comes to Leo, for Leo, Taurus is the tenth house. For Leo ascendants, Taurus is the tenth house. How much strong you are financially and wealth, wealth wise, financial wise, that much name and fame you will get. So you need to work hard and pull the things, the gather the things. Make fixed deposits, collect stones, precious stones, collect gold. So build houses. So how much financial wealth you are rich, that much name and fame you will get. So start working to pool the things. They collect the things. So it's called Taurus is all about collections. <laughs> so how much collect you collectivity you maintain, that much name and fame you will get. When it comes to Virgo, for Virgo ascendants, 10th house is Gemini. How much you communicate, how much information you gather, that much name and fame you will get. When it comes to Libra, for Libra people, the 10th house is Cancer. So you need to showcase love, emotions, and affections. You need to deal love, emotions, affections. Because moon is ruling the 10th house. So with the kind of a love only, you will get to name and fame, like Mother Teresa, how she did. She showcased too much of love to others, not only family, to others. So that much love, with the, your love, your emotions, your affections only, you will achieve the name and fame. When it comes to Scorpio, Scorpio, 10th house is Leo. 
So, in order to achieve name and fame for the Scorpio ascendants, uh, you need to showcase authority, bossism. Authority, bossism, controlling, generating. So, these kind of uh, attitude only, you will get a name and fame. So, start showcasing authority, bossism. So, you need a uh, that kind of a respect, uh, you, you want to do respectable things because sun seeks always respect, right? So for that respect, uh, he will do anything. So this way you can achieve the name and fame. When it comes to Sagittarius, the 10th house is Virgo. You need to maintain perfection. You always want to have that perfection. You need to micromanage the things. After A, B need to come. After B, C need to come. It's a kind of an ordered, sorted, ordered way. So that kind of a perfection. You need to deal the 10th house with the perfection. Then only you will get name and fame. When it comes to Capricorn, the 10th house is Libra. Capricorn ascendants, the 10th house is Libra. So with this... Uh, you need to have a balanced kind of a mind. Libra is all about balancing the things. You need to balance the things. You need to go in a compromising way. You need to deal everything in a compromising way, in a balanced way of approach. You need to listen to others. And you should not take immediate decisions. Okay? You need to think like a judge. And you need to take a decision. How the judge will do. So, we will seek the information from all the lawyers and uh, he will club everything. With that information, he will take a nice decision, right? So, in this way only, you will get a name and a fame. When it comes to Aquarius, the 10th house ruled by Scorpio. Scorpio is all about passion and dedication. You need to deal everything with a passion and dedication. Or else you will not get that any name. If you do with the passion, you have some passion, you have some dedication, you need to go in that way. So movies is your passion. So you need to go in a movie. So you need to hunt that passion. So if you don't find a passion with the disinterested mind, all people are doing software, I am also doing software, it will not work for you. So, you need to go with your passion, then only you will achieve name and fame, or else you will not achieve name and fame, you will remain an ordinary person. Yeah. When it comes to Pisces Ascendant, the 10th house is sand. <laughs> It comes to Pisces ascendant, the 10th house is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is all about uh, collecting the higher knowledge. You need to collect uh, the higher knowledge from others. You need to observe that how your managers are behaving, how your elder people are behaving. With that thing from there, you will get a name and fame. Acquire higher knowledge and achieve name and this is all about the 10th house. This is how you need to get a name and fame. This is how dynamics will work. Thank you. <clears throat> we'll meet uh, with the next video next week. Please like, subscribe, <clears throat> and comment on the video. Thank you. Thank you very much.